Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to parse a JSON string to a page or how to convert a JSON string into a page, clipboard page. How can we achieve this? I can achieve this in a multiple ways. For example, I have a one JSON data string format. I have a one JSON data string format. See this one. So this is my JSON data. Always JSON data is nothing but a JavaScript object notation data which is having the key value pairs. So ideally <coughs> key name country code and key value 87 and key name is country name and key value is Russia country description etc country description etc its value is uh, there is no value for country description now i want to convert this json string format into a page into a pega page or a clipboard page in last my video also i have explained how to convert a json data into a page which is nothing but a deserialization which is nothing but a deserialization serialization is nothing but a converting a page into the json or a string and he deserialization means converting the json data or json string into a page now in this video uh, what is the difference between my previous video and, and in this video is i am going to use the overtb function here instead of creating my own code instead of creating my own code okay now here this is my json string format data now i am converting this json string format data into a page the page contains the these properties country code country name and country description see here the country code is 87 country name russia and country description is also i am just giving as a russia russia now just click on save now my json data is ready or json string is ready now i want to convert uh, this json string into a clipboard page so we have a one ootb function call it as a px convert string to page we have a one ootb function call it as a px convert to string to a page here either you can use this function or you can use the deserialization by using the data transform also by using the data transform also i think you can go through my last video i mean one of the video i think a uh, uh, couple of months back i have uploaded one video regarding the deserialization mechanism but in this video i am going to show you by using this px convert a string to a page see this one pega rules library and page uh, pega rules rule set version and page library there is a function overtb function px convert string to page and this function is expecting four parameters one is a public api and in which page what is the page name okay now here i have given the my step page and what is the input string json string format and it is the type of format is a json what is the type of input string is it xml or is it a normal plain text or is it a json format what type of input string it is json and param.json data is my input string convert a string to a page which page means here i have given the my step page my step page means see this one here my page name is country details so here my step page referring to the country details ultimately all these json string data is converted into a page call it as a country details we will see that we will see that now go to actions click on run this is a ootp function click on run success go to the clipboard now country details here country code 87 country description russia and country name is russia now open this country code country description and country name remember this i have already explained in my previous video also all these three properties are not created by the pega at this moment already these properties were already present already present so in this way you can use the uh, <coughs> ootb function to convert a string to a page so this is param.json data is a json string you can 
you can convert you can convert this json string into a page by using this px convert string to page this is a public api tools comma my step page or else you have to give the page name to which page into which page these properties will be saved you have to give the page name because which page convert a string to page right to which page you want to convert into which page you want to convert this json string you have to mention that page name here i just given a my step page means this just a country details and param.json data is input string and the type of string is json okay i hope you understand now i can say i can achieve same thing by using the deserialization how means param dot execution mode right here i have to mention the deserialize deserialize so now by using this and you can call one data transform so that you can you can convert or you can convert the string to a page using the deserialization right now i'm right now i'm not going to explain that mechanism right now i'm not going to explain that mechanism i have already explained in my one of the previous video okay now just click on save now here in this json string i just want to make one change so in this json string i just want to make one change for example here country codes i just want to give it as a country codes and this is also already explained in my one of the previous video actions run click on run yeah no issue no issue open the clipboard and country details see this uh, property country codes but this property is not present if you want just click on it okay see the properties does not exist properties does not exist so that's why make sure that please create the existing properties because this is not a valid property right this is not a valid property this is not a valid property so if you give the json input string is like this what will happen this json input string is converted into a page that is fine but when you are referring that when you are referring this property country codes right the property is does not exist actually the property is does not exist so in that case you will get an error messages in that case you will get an error messages because this property is not exist just it is showing the clipboard is country codes but ultimately this property is not exist next thing is next thing is this is one observation second observation is if you give some space here in the country code if you give some space in the country code save action run trace let's see what okay tracer is a tracer okay let's see what will happen just click on run okay usually will get an error messages let me show you let me close this quickly
Now actions just a trace. Now you can see what will happen. Actions run. Okay, open the tracer. You see some except some exceptions here. Okay, now see what is the exception. See the reference the reference country code is not a valid reason invalid property name. But why why we are not getting an error message is previously country codes even though that property was not present. See in the JSON format if you give the some spaces in the string some spaces in this JSON string the px convert the string to page or if even if you can apply through deserialization also it cannot convert to a page properly it cannot convert to a page properly so in that case how can we handle this situation in that case how can we handle this situation but sometimes you get a response like this from the external systems or somewhere right then then in that case how do you handle this situation now i have another option so instead of instead of using this convert a string to page what i can do is i can use the previous mechanism deserialization insert below here in the property set right param dot json data and param dot execution mode equal to deserialize and apply data transform parse json data save now in the parse json data in the parse json data see this one auto map auto map all the data for example some people will give auto map all the data okay let's see what will happen if i can select auto map all the data just save Now country code and even country name is also I'm just giving some space assuming now run you will get an error open the tracer see what is the exception See the reference country code is not valid reason invalid country code why when you are doing auto mapping because pega is internally trying to convert the string to a property but ultimately the space there is a space issue as well as that property is not exist see this one again exception so com dot pega rules etc the reference country code is not a valid and one more exception the reference country code is not a valid so in that case how do you handle the situation so now let me modify this apply data transform parse json data right now instead of auto map all the data what i am doing is i want to map explicitly to which clipboard property you want to map to which clipboard property if you want you can map to answer one okay what is the json country code Next, leave it about the empty behavior. I'll talk about later. Next, answer two. If you want, you can map to any properties. Answer two, country code, right? Country name, like this. Uh, if you want, you can map it also. Now save. Instead of auto mapping uh, in the top element structure, select object you are explicitly mapping you are explicitly mapping this one now run this h hacked run this my activity click on run now success right now open the clipboard so to which page these values are mapping if you give any page it will map it now what i am giving is i did not mention any page means my primary page my primary page means nothing but a car loan now if you want you can see the clipboard run record primary page 
See answer one eighty seven. Answer two Russia. So no, if you, I want to map to country details means just give it as a step page and create a data transform in that page. Now what I am doing is country details. Now this data transform you need to create it in the country details, right? Because the data transform is not present in this country class. Country detail is belonging to the which class? SBI data country. So either if you want. Your wish. Now, what I am doing is just click on save. Okay, create parse JSON data because you immediately context is changed, right? That's why. Click on create and uh, no. Select JSON. Click on create and open. object now here country code now what is your input json country code json string in this way you can also map it country description even though there is a even though there is a uh, space in the key country description just click on save If you want, you can map all the properties. Also, just time being, I am pu putting these properties. Now run again. Save. JSON is exist. Sorry, data transform is present. Param dot. As usually, remains same. Action. Run. Run. Clipboard. Country details. See this one. Country code eighty seven. Country description is country description is Russia. Okay, but what happened? Country description is not coming. Country description. This is not correct, right? What is our in our activity? What is this one? Jason, you have given. You should give this one because we have given some space, right? Only for the we have given the space to the country code and country name, but as usually we have given this one, right? Just mentioned this wrong JSON string, wrong JSON key. That's why you got an error. That property is not mapped. Save. Action, run, run, clipboard, country details. See now this time. Okay, I hope you understand video like this. In this way, you can parse the JSON string, parse the JSON string into an array. Sorry, pass the JSON string into an object. Okay, thank you.